So now let's talk a little bit about belt pinch. So we're looking up from underneath and behind the manure drive unit here, and there's a couple parts that we can see. We've got the main drive roller with the belt wrapped around it. We also have the snub shaft with snub rollers. This is used to pinch the belt back up against the main drive roller, which gives additional belt wrap so that the belt doesn't slip when we're pulling heavy loads. Snub rollers have snub scrapers that are used to keep these rollers clean because if it doesn't stay clean, that can affect your belt tracking. We're going to use the same adjustment bolt as we did for belt tracking, except we need to do the opposite of what we did with the bearing nut tension, and I'll show you what I mean. We'll go ahead and remove this cover, and we're on the spur gear side of the drive unit. Again, we're making sure that the unit is powered down and will not come on. What we want is for the nuts corresponding to the snub roller assembly to be loose. They were tight when we wanted to track the belt, but in this case, they'll be loose and the ones for the drive roller are actually tight. This makes it so that when you turn this adjusting bolt, it moves the snub shaft back and forth. And if you look here, you can see the relative movement between these two rollers. It's very important when we're adjusting belt pinch that we get it the same on both sides of the drive unit, and we have an indicator right here that helps us know that we're the same. Our goal is to be between the two outermost marks. If we're outside of that range, the gear teeth won't mesh properly. So we want to make sure that we're somewhere between the outer two marks on both sides. Turning the bolt clockwise brings the snub shaft forward, whereas turning it counterclockwise pushes the snub shaft backwards. So set it to where you want for this side, and then we can move to the chain and sprocket side. To adjust belt pinch on the chain and sprocket side, we can go ahead and remove this cover. And we'll want to ensure that the bearing nuts corresponding to the snub shaft are loose on this side. So on both sides of the drive unit, they're loose, whereas these for the drive roller remain tight. And it's the same as before, where when I turn this bolt, it pulls the snub shaft either forward if I'm turning clockwise or pushes it backwards if I turn counterclockwise. And the goal is to have my pinch indicator to be on the same mark or in relatively the same position as it is on the other side. This ensures that we have an even pinch across the belt width. If our pinch is not the same, the belt tends to track away from the side that is more tightly pinched. So we want it to be even so that our pinch is not affected at all.